My name is Nigel Williams. I'm a peer recovery coach from San Antonio, Texas. And uh, I've been kind of working with youth for the last about two years. Uh, I got involved when I was about 17 years old. And my experiences, of course, were mostly negative. Um, when I went through the system, it was mostly punitive. It was mostly about punishing me for what I had done, not about helping me become a better person at all. I got arrested when I was 17. I spent like a couple weeks in jail at most. Uh, then I was on probation, and then before my probation ended, uh, I picked up felony charges in San Antonio and was in jail for a couple more weeks after that and stayed on probation. They gave me five years, but I got off in two for good behavior. When I got locked up the second time, I realized that I was kind of, I'd already gone down the wrong path. And so seeing my family and the effect that it had on them and on myself, I made a decision to get myself clean and sober. Once I did that, uh, my whole life turned around. I spent a little over a year in a, a rehab. I came out, uh, got the first job I could find, and a really awful car and a, an awful place to live. And then I worked through it and bought myself a better car and got a better job. And then I started working with the youth and got really passionate about helping people the way that people tried to help me when I was going through my problems. And so now I think it's important to give back to the system and help youth turn their lives around before they wind up in the criminal justice system. I believe they are largely and grossly ineffective at help responding to the youth. Um, simply put, it's an adult system, not a juvenile system, so they are not equipped to handle juvenile needs. I mean, it's not to say that the people who make it to the adult system are worse, but juveniles should be kept with juveniles. And in fact, we should focus on rehabilitating them rather than punishing them and locking them up. If we want to create a better society, we need better people, and locking people up doesn't help us do that. I do believe it is better, but it's still not anywhere close to good. Like I said, it's, it's still this mindset of punishing people and not trying to help them become better people. Then we wonder why we have so many people who reoffend when they get out. It's because we create a system that almost wants them to reoffend. And so we should spend more time and more money helping them become better people instead of punishing them for the bad things they did in the past. Education programs, um, halfway houses I know are amazing. And unfortunately, in the state that I come from in Texas, there aren't a lot of other alternatives. And so I think there are some alternatives that should be more funded. We should actually, actually fund starting newer ones because in Texas, there's not a lot of alternatives other than the criminal justice system. And it's been my experience that when minorities such as African Americans and Hispanics wind up in the, in the system, it's seen as sort of the status quo. Then when Caucasians wind up in the system, people feel like there was a failing for that kid somewhere. And so it's this idea that if you're black or Hispanic, you kind of, it's whatever, you belong here. And if you're white, something bad must have happened to you. And so when we have that mentality, we don't want to help out minorities. We want to help out almost exclusively, exclusively Caucasians. I mean, there's jails and prisons are predominantly minorities in, inside of them. And that kind of tags on like to a further reaching issue like such as uh, police violence right now and the way that police treat minorities. But that's a whole other issue I could get into.